All right, so I'm back down in here where I was sifting a few years ago. I hadn't been sifting in here because it had sanded over, but it's about to wash back out so I can get back down to some material. And uh, I'm, I'm feeling some things with my probe right down in here. Feels pretty promising. I've got my new sifter with me. I'm going to camp out and I'll turn it back on when I see something in the sifter. So I've got a pretty good sifter full and I'm seeing some color as usual in this creek. Big chunk of jasper right there and there's another piece right there. Here, we're going to go ahead and sift this out and see what see what happens. Big chunks of jasper debitage, heat treated. Fire rock. No points in that load. Just a lot of flint. All right, I've moved on down the creek, and uh, as I was shoveling some heavier deposits from behind this little log, I saw a drill pop out on my shovel as I was loading the sifter. It's gonna be a woodland period drill, kind of crude. Made out of Jasper, the woodland period, that's going to be 1500 B.C. to A.D. 800. Alright, I'll turn it back on if I see something else. So I've been moving up and down the creek in this hot spot. And uh, I hit a hot little vein down in here. This stuff tends to vein up in pockets in these sandy creeks. And uh, I've been seeing a lot of flakes as I've been shoveling. So I thought I'd go ahead and turn the camera on and sift this load out. That's what I've been sifting out. All that debitage, a lot of jasper. A lot of red flakes. Oh, look at there. There's a broken point. Hmm. Would have been pretty good. Looks like an archaic piece. knew there was a lot in that load. I kept seeing it come out on my shovel. Some fire rock. There's actually a base. <sighs> that pretty piece of flint. Fort Payne Church. Uh oh, look at there. Look at that. That's a little triangle. Ah, score. Yes, sir. Probably a late woodland period triangle. Cool. That is a true arrow point. That's typical Mississippi arrow points. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, looky there. Is it broke? Another drill. That's crazy. You can see them come out on the shovel a lot of times. I'm going to switch over to the other camera. There's a better shot. This place is notorious for drills. And that is a tool indicative of the woodland period. Maybe I'll get back with another one. I felt some deposits down in there if I can just get it out. It's, it's beginning to get sandy back this way. If you can find any deposit in this creek, you better look out. I'm telling you, it's just full of it. That's had some work done on it there. Not a lot of anything back that way. Oh. Oh. Maybe I was wrong. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. I'm switching to my close-up camera. Oh, wow. It looked like it had some damage, but I'm gonna go ahead and get some good film of this up close. Oh, my goodness. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Uh, 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 uh. like an early archaic pine tree point maybe some rework on the tip I don't know it looks a lot like damage it's, it's seen its use days uh, wow I didn't no flakes well maybe a flake or two Wow. That's a pine tree point. Early archaic period. Up to 9,000 years. Whew. Turned out to be a pretty good day. Alright, so here's my cleanup. Uh, then I've been in here about six hours. Uh, wound up with two drills. 
some more broken stuff i did not film some of that broken stuff uh pine tree point a couple of drills and an arrow point and all this devotage you want to talk about fun that's fun when you can find things like that except in a creek bed but you can't do it in just any creek bed you got to find that hot spot there's even petrified wood in this creek all sorts of fire rock there's another broken point it was fun and I'll be back in here to seal some more. Till next time.